Hey, what's up guys? Back with another video, uh, full self-driving video. We're gonna, we're gonna try to activate it there. Um, wanted to hop on real quick. We got some inclement weather. Wanted to see how we could do in this rain. Interesting, I see a uh, notification in the lower left right now. It says full self-driving may be degraded, poor weather detected. So I'm gonna stay extra vigilant here. I don't know what that means. If it means it's gonna shut off on me or if it means that it's just not going to work as well and I'm going to run into the side of a, a building. Uh, we're at an unguarded uh, intersection here. We're going to creep out. Handled that okay. It's having me apply a force to the steering wheel, make sure it knows that I'm here. Windshield wipers going full here, maybe one level down from full. Notification is still on. Uh, we're going to continue on and see how it does. I will say I had it running. I didn't get video of it, but I had it running the other day, and it's having me, as I'm saying that, apply the force the steering wheel again pretty quickly. That was only five or ten seconds in between uh, applications. Um, I had it running the other day at nighttime while it was raining and ran into some issues. I'm going to try to get a video of that next time. Sorry I didn't get get that on camera. Um, here we go again, apply slight turning force to wheel. This is only five or 10 seconds before it's wanting to make sure that I'm here. Um, yeah, that notification on the lower left is a little bit disconcerting. Again, I don't know what that means, if it's gonna shut off at any moment and ask me to take over, or if it's just a warning that it might not perform as well. Uh, if I didn't say we're running a Model Y, beta full self-driving hardware 4 so we're camera only 11.4.4 speed limit through here is 25 and there we go autopilot disengaged uh, did it on its own I don't know if it was for because of the weather let's try to re-engage it all right we're re-engaged I still see the notification full self-driving may be degraded I was making another video about the windshield wipers. I am not super thrilled with the automatic windshield wipers. Um, it seems like they have a mind of their own. Sometimes they come on when they don't need to. Sometimes the window will be almost fully covered. Uh, I'm st we're getting extra close to this vehicle here. It looks like it wants to go around these guys and that's definitely not what it should be doing. Um, we're going to be wanting to get into the right turn lane here. Another notif notification that full self-driving may be degraded. Um, yeah, the windshield wipers, I don't know if I am super thrilled with how they work on automatic. Um, also the headlights. When you turn full self-driving on, it automatically turns the headlights on automatic. And I haven't been super satisfied with them. It seems like at times at night it will uh, bright people in far left lanes on coming that it shouldn't and then it'll turn yeah it, it turns on the bright headlights too much I think as we're creeping here forward I'm gonna make sure that it doesn't try to pass these cars on the left so I've lost the notification now about the inclement weather here we go we should get into the right lane We are not stopping at this railroad track today. Okay, which lane are you getting into? A little, I just let it go because I knew nobody was around me, but that was not a very smooth turn. So we've lost the notification now about the weather, but it seems to be raining harder than it was earlier. So I would suspect that notification is gonna pop back up, but let's see. I can barely see out the front window. I would say the wipers need to be uh, going faster, but this is what I mean with the wipers having a mind of their own. And just as I say that now, they start kicking up a little faster. Um, all right, there's the notification again. And again, asking me to pull on the wheel. Full self-driving may be degraded, poor weather detected. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. Like I was 
saying earlier, uh, you know, it'd be like with the FAA and bad weather um, for an air, for a, for an airliner. Uh, you got to ground the fleet. Look at this. I cannot see through the front window, and the wipers are not going. They need to be going faster. Now I'm. I, I understand that the camera is on the inside of this windshield, and hardware four. I mean, hardware four really, in my opinion, needs to have a bumper cam for a number of reasons. Since we got rid of, uh, since we got rid of the radar, um, I've seen some other videos. People, all right, hold on. I got to pay attention here. Make sure we're stopping. I'm getting notifications. Cars slowing in front of me. I did not have to take over. It's beeping at me all over the place, letting me know. Poor weather detected. We're gonna see what happens here. Hopefully I don't get in a crash. It's still beeping at me. I mean, the risk is, I guess, that it's just gonna shut off at any moment and I have to take back over and I don't want it to do that while I'm relying on it to come to a stop or something like that. All right, it wants to change lanes. We do have a vehicle in our blind spot in the back left. It does see it. It aborted that lane change. It still wants to change lanes, so it should slow a little bit, which it does. All right, executed that lane change well. Yeah, I mean, I would just not trust. If the roads were slippery, I, I would not trust this at all. A absolutely not. Uh, I mean, I will for a video for you guys to see what happens, but if I were just trying to maximize my safety or my passenger safety, I would not trust it. Let's see how it handles this lane change here, gets into the left turning lane well, and let's see how it navigates this uh, left turn. I don't know why it's getting over to the right side of this lane. Um, somebody in the last video comment, I put up a short about turning left on a stoplight like this. I don't know how it is for you in, in different states. In Iowa, a yellow light means stop. So if, if there's a, a yellow light for a turn signal, you are supposed to stop at the crosswalk. And if the light turns red and you've never had an opportunity to go, then you have to wait at that crosswalk stop until the next green light. The maneuver where people pull out into the intersection while it's yellow, you know, it's like the last lucky car and then the light turns red and then you clear out of the intersection um, is technically illegal in Iowa, but people do it all the time. I don't think anybody, I don't think any cop's going to pull somebody over for that, but technically you're running a red light when you do that. And people will say, well, I have no option. I'm in the middle of the intersection. It's illegal to be in the intersection. So yeah, I clear out, but you're breaking the law. What you should have done, if you really wanted to have a zero chance of breaking the law, would, would have been to stop at the crosswalk while it's yellow and wait there for an opening to go. Um, nice left turn there. Rain's letting up a little bit. Um, and as we're executing a lane change, Rain is letting up, sun's coming out. I do not see a notification anymore for inclement weather, but a good little test there. Yeah, like I said, uh, I mean, I'm white knuckling it when we're in, an, in a situation like that. Notification is just reminding me that I'm imminent, uh, you know, in a situation that could imminently turn out of control with the uh, computer. So you, you can't rely on it. It's interesting to test it to see what it'll do or when it'll give out. But really, I think in the long run, if, uh, if it's not able to drive in inclement weather, it, it just shouldn't be activated. And uh, I think it should be the same for humans. If a human, if you can't send 100 people out in a winter storm and have 100 of them get there safely without 10, 20 of them winding up in a ditch, then you shouldn't be driving. And right now, we're allowed to drive in inclement weather. Um, but I'm not so sure that we should authorize self-driving vehicles to do the same. But anyway, that's just my two cents. We'll see how this keeps evolving. As a reminder, we're on beta. Version 12 is going to change everything. Hope you guys are having a great day.
uh, just a little video for you here in this rain and we'll be back next time thank you guys for subscribing look forward to, to uh, making another video for you cue the outro music